What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going back into my adventures in Ableton and I'm just going to be showing you guys how to draw um, trap hi-hats really quick, really easy. Um, I know that there is um, many different workflows in, in, uh, in Ableton Live and this video is kind of geared towards people who have used other DAWs, gotten used to piano roll type of vibes. Um, you know, and, and maybe like, and, and maybe like setting an ARP in a, a um, you know, chaining together an ARP with um, with four different of the same samples inside of a drum rack just doesn't compute. Also, um, another reason why I'm not really a big fan of that method is because you you lose the ability to uh, to kind of pitch your um, your uh, your hi hats and uh, you know manipulate the velocity and stuff like that. It's really restricting. So this is um, you know this is how I do it when I'm drawing it. Um, first of all, um, key commands if command uh, or, or or control or command one um, and uh, and two when you're in the piano roll. If you look down here, I'm as I'm pressing one, I'm zooming in on the note value. So I go all the way up to you know 256. And, and as I press two, I'm zooming out. Think of it as zoom in and zoom out, command one and two. Then you could switch to triplets by pressing control three, right? Boom, so that is, that's really cool to me. So um, I've got this loop up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, press the B tool, that takes me into draw mode and I could just go ahead and draw in um, a typical straight hat pattern. All right, cool. Now, you know, one of the things I like to do um, in all of my drum patterns is you gotta have, you gotta have some velocity, right? Like I've noticed with a lot of the, um, a lot of the trap and stuff that's created in live, the hi hats they're just they're so like <laughs> straight at you because when you use the uh, when you use the rack method, um, you don't have the option to, or it, it's not easily available to do this. So this is all part of the workflow. All right, boom. So we got a little bit of groove right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just kind of um, select different notes that I want to roll. So let me just listen to this. So I've deleted the notes that I want to roll because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to triplets now. I'm going to go to 16 notes, press B, and just get that guy right there. So now the other distinct advantage that this method has is you can go ahead and mess with your velocities um, with um, with your rolls, which is which is always something which is always something that I want to do. You know, I don't I don't want I don't want these to be one stagnant type of uh, type of velocity here. Yeah, man. So that's it. Real simple, real easy to the point, you know, um, in, in, in order to, you know, in order to manipulate the uh, the actual grid, um, control one will zoom you in as far as you know, resolution control two will zoom you out. Control three will switch you from um, triplet to straight and then control B will take you into draw or not control B just B will take you into draw mode and then you can have a ball draw whatever you want so this is uh, this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions studio one tutorials.com stop by check out the buy sounds tabs I have sounds that are compatible across any doll um, be on the lookout for more of my adventures in Ableton live keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one